Let's take a look at how to draw a tree diagram. The probability of rain is 0.4. The probability John goes out jogging is 0.9 if it doesn't rain, and 0.2 if it rains. First, we label four events. R is rain. NR is no rain. J is jogging. NJ is no jogging. In a tree diagram, we put events in nodes, and probabilities on branches. We draw out two branches to R and NR. Put 0.4 on the branch to R, because probability of rain is 0.4. PR is 0.4, then PNR is 0.6. We put 0.6 on the branch to NR. From R, we draw out two branches to J and NJ. We know if it rains, the probability of jogging is 0.2. This is PJ given R. We put it on the branch of R to J. If probability of jogging is 0.2, then probability of no jogging is 0.8. This is PNJ given R. Similarly, we draw out two branches from NR to J and NJ. Put 0.9 on the branch from NR to J, and 0.1 on the branch from NR to NJ. Now let's look at the first path RJ. If we multiply the probabilities along the path, we get the probability of rain and jogging, because PR and J is PR times PJ given R. This is 0.4 times 0.2, which is 0.08. Similarly, probability of rain and no jogging is 0.4 times 0.8, which is 0.32. Probability of no rain and jogging is 0.6 times 0.9, which is 0.54. Probability of no rain and no jogging is 0.6 times 0.1, which is 0.06. Probabilities on those branches coming from one node should all add to 1. 0.4 and 0.6 add to 1. 0.2 and 0.8 add to 1. 0.9 and 0.1 add to 1. Probabilities of all end nodes should add to 1. The sum of 0 0.08, 0 0.32, 0 0.54 and 0 0.06 is 1. The real tree diagram only requires nodes, branches and probabilities on the branches. No need to calculate the probability on end nodes. Given John goes out jogging, find out the probability that it rains. We can see that two paths lead to J. One is RJ. And the other is NRJ. The first path gives the probability of R and J. This is 0.4 times 0.2, which is 0.08. The second path gives the probability of NR and J. This is 0.6 times 0.9 which is 0.54. So PJ is the sum of these two, which is 0.62. Therefore, PR given J is PR and J over PJ. PR and J is 0.08. PJ is 0.62. So the answer is 0.08 over 0.62, which is 4 over 31. Usually, when we try to find conditional probability with tree diagrams, we divide the, the probability of one path, by the sum of probabilities from several paths. In the above example, the conditional probability is the division of one path by the sum of two paths. In this class, we learned how to draw a tree diagram and calculate conditional probability from it. Events are in nodes. Probabilities are on branches. Paths give the probabilities of, and events. Conditional probability is usually one path divided by the sum of several paths. 